Hello everybody and welcome back to the ranch. Dr. Uptown here. Uh, doing a video in response to the Yankee Marshal who posed the question of uh, what firearms did you buy because you were inspired by a movie or TV show. And my answer to that... North by East, North by East. Amerigles is that way. Somebody's turned that sign around. Doesn't anybody in this outfit look at a compass besides me? Over here, on the double! Where you going to that thing? We don't know, sir. We took the wrong road. Oh. What do you got in here, ammo? Yes, sir. You 82nd? No, sir. 101. Well, you're in the 82nd now. But, sir, we're... But coming... what? Nothing, sir. The rest of the command will follow us straight up that road. Good luck, Major. All right, Thank A Company, fall out. Private? Yes, sir. It's a hell of a war. <clears throat> Would be the 1911. Being that I'm uh, somewhat of a uh, World War II buff, history buff anyway, uh, the 1911 fits right into play with that. And there's just nothing more iconic than uh, John Wayne charging up uh, Iwo Jima with his 1911 drawn that particular movie he gets killed but I guess sometimes our heroes have to die but yeah the uh, 1911 would be my uh, choice with that this is a uh, auto ordinance 1911 it's a uh, reproduction of a World War II model this particular one happens to be the uh, 100th anniversary model and is stamped in the slide for that but um, Beyond that, uh, the appearance of it, from the outside anyway, is uh, very retro World War II. Uh, this is, however, an 80 series pistol versus a 70 series, which would make it more in line with the World War II model. But, you know, lawyers got to make their money too, so uh, some companies like Auto Ordnance still choose to make a uh, 80 series over a 70 series. Anyway, this would be my one gun that uh, is inspired by movie or TVs.